Hey guys, check this out. We are the Blizzard Weapons. This one is for the view. Whoa, look at the views. Whoa. Let's look. You and I, plus me. Yeah. 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 Hey guys, you need an intro? I don't know. Hey Seth, hit it! Way back then, mom bought us a piano, a guitar, and a mic, and we played it with ease. She was very surprised at the challenge she presented. Learn a song a week from the master's book. If you finish the book, you get $20. We're up for that. It's not even a bother. From that moment on, we were totally hooked. Music was our style, our soul, and passion. And our dad pressed record, and that was all it took. Never did we guess that we'd make it on Ellen. But this is the last dream the story we were telling. Selling phenomenal is so out of fashion. I'm Zach. I'm Seth. I'm Mark. And, and we are the Malizwi Brothers. The name Malizwi means leaders of the future and it's um, a South African name and um, we wanted a name that we can live up to but first it didn't start out like that. We had names such like, like um, the, the James Trio, the Amazing Men and the Smilers, like those all kind of funny names and we were just looking for a name that, we were just looking for a name and why my dad made up the name Smilers because he's trying to get me to smile when I play the piano. It was just a funny name. Somebody put the bark, somebody put the bark collar on Pepper. These boys are just like any other boys. It's hard to feed three boys. They're always eating, especially our oldest, who's Mark. Yeah. Um, yeah, always having to break up fights. Zachary could be a handful at times, I can tell you so that. So they're just normal boys, like every yeah. boy Yeah, yeah. Boy. See, see, see what, what I mean? I mean? <laughs> Come on guys, okay. mom and dad are doing an interview, yeah. guys. <laughs> It's time to get back to work. Hey guys, it's time to get back to work. Yeah. Let's go but, guys. Um, yeah, but all in all, you know, really good boys. Um, I couldn't ask for, yeah, for anything, great kids. anything yeah. better. I would say, the kind of music um, the boys grew up with are uh, the ones that we parents listen to, right? So a lot of um, Motown, um, I would say funk, um, as well as Caribbean music because we are both Caribbean parents, right? We're from the Caribbean, so I would say those are the kind of music that they hear around the sound throughout the years growing up. For myself, I was uh, into all genres of music, so um, growing up, you know, I was into um, of course, the Motown, also into classical music, into the Bon Jovi. So, you know, in terms of my listening, I listen to a lot of music. So growing up, the kids would hear that. And um, Michael Jackson, of course, right? Um, so I remember Mark being the eldest. Uh, when he was very young, we noticed that he liked a lot of the Michael Jackson songs. So he really started off. And of course, Zachary behind would listen to Mark and then he he followed in Mark's footsteps in terms of um, his musical tastes. Well, starting off, you know, we had no idea that this would all happen in terms of the social media. Um, it was just being regular parents and just encouraging the boys. And of course, you know, as parents, you're kind of taught to try and capture as much moments as possible. And fortunately, we grew up in the age where it was on, we had the smartphones, so we were able to take, you know, video footage. And, you know, so it started off as just being fun, just what it was, just putting stuff online and sharing it with your friends and say, hey, here's Seth, here's Mark, here's Zachary, this is what they're doing. And as time progressed, um, you know, they got better and better and then just really one thing that led to another. But it just really started off as just parents just encouraging their kids. Mark, you want to look over? There you go, bud. Well, our first um, turning point in seeing uh, 
one of the boys video took off was um, our first one of our first upload which was I look to you by Whitney Houston that was one of the first video where, that took off over a million and then a lot of people reached out to us and then on Facebook and they were like wow you guys are great you really touched my heart um, a lot of people started to dig deeper into the older stuff videos that we had previously um, uploaded and then we had um, At Last by Etta James. And then the one that really took off really big was um, the Jackson 5, I'll Be There. And we are the Blizzard Brothers. For us, when we became believers, I would say, in what was going on with the boys, was I think it was in about June last year, we got a call from one of the casting um, assistants from the Steve Harvey show. So that one was out of the blue, and that's when our first video went over the million mark, which was I Look To You. And of course, when you get a call from you know a US network telling you, hey, we're kind of interested in your boys, you got something going on that kind of built. Yeah, we at that point we were like, wow, we're really onto something. For the longest while, we kind of resisted doing any of the Jackson 5. Um, I guess it was out of respect, because we know that they're just pretty awesome. And, and we've always said with the boys, if you're gonna do somebody's cover, you gotta do it just as good or even better. So uh, yeah, so, um, but we knew that they had the talent and uh, we could, so we resisted it for a while and then, just from fans saying, you guys should do a Jacksons, you guys should do a Jackson. When we hit like 10 million views, I was like, whoa, this is going fast. I actually think that it took um, a week for it to actually break through a million views. After that, um, that's when we started seeing um, 16 million, and then after the 17, and then from there on, that's when it um, really started shooting up. Every time we would check on the comments, it's like so cool. And then we would retype, um, please share. Um, and it's just amazing to see the comments that people are, the positive comments that people are giving. Yeah, and it's just really awesome. One of the um, biggest rewards that um, we have seen um, being achieved by the boys is seeing that all the hard work that they put in and the time is now being paid off. I'm going to give it straight to you guys. If you want to be great at what you're doing and you want to be able to get better and be able to um, share your gift, you have to practice. If you don't practice, you won't perform well. That's why we practice. Um, if we didn't practice, um, we wouldn't be going on the stages that we're going to be going on right now. It takes practice. You have to be willing to practice every day. You don't have to do it for a long time. It starts little by little, step by step. Thanks for watching this episode. And be sure to tune in next week. We're going to leave you this special one.
and subscribe here. And be sure to like our um, Facebook page here. And you can see another YouTube video right over here. Bye! Bye. Well, um, the Jackson 5 to me are great musicians. Um, they made a big impact on the world. And um, we, want, we want to be able to make a great impact just like the Jackson 5 did. Um, when I was small, um, the first song I performed was Who's Loving You by the Jackson 5. And then I guess that's kind of how Zachary got into the Jackson 5 thing. We used to listen to a lot of Jackson 5 songs when we were small, and I loved some of them, like maybe tomorrow, I, I figured that out like one year ago, and I started listening to it, so that's why I love the Jackson 5 and I love their songs. We started doing videos in, in St. Vincent, and um... The video that really took off first was I Look To You by Whitney Houston. Um, since doing a lot of Jackson 5 songs was our thing, um, when we decided to do I'll Be There, we didn't really know that um, I'll Be There was going to catch all that views. And Well, some, some comments that we got on Facebook was like, there's a lot of Brazilian people watching. It's like, um, we love you in Brazil. And there's like a bunch of Brazilians commenting. Like when we did Facebook Live, there's like people saying, you guys are so talented. Um, I wish you were in Brazil right now. And like people are just... Um, posting like hearts every time we check on the comments. It's like so cool. Um, our goal is to um, tell everyone that everybody has a gift inside of them and they could be anything that they want to. And we got to inspire people, um, make people happy. You got to change the day and we got to change the whole world.